Hi, it's Jeff, and today I want to talk about One Commander. It's probably the best utility I've come across to give me some of the Mac OS Finder features in Windows. I want to show you the pain points first, though. So when I open up a new Windows Explorer window, and by the way, in case you didn't know, that happens to be Windows E. Hold down the Windows or the Start button and hold down the letter E. You get this list on the side of common places. I always struggle a little bit about getting items there. Only recently did I learn if you click on Home, these are how you can add or remove to the quick access with a right click. You could have favorites when you pin your own files, recents. I find this to be less than intuitive. I do like the idea that you can hit the plus up there. And just so we can go to a directory full of media, maybe I'll go uh, here. I'd like you to see that you can adjust these. It's not an intuitive keyboard command, but I'll give it to you because I think it's so useful. The one you wanted is the sixth item there. That happens to be Shift Control 6. And that gives me a list, by the way, Shift Control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, this is just very much Windows for me. It's got a lot of extra stuff I don't want. And then worst, I can't list folder sizes and I can't have things be in alphabetical order. When I go here, it separates the folders from the files. And that just kind of drives me a little crazy. The way I fix it is I install one commander. I'd like you to see probably the best way to do it is either to buy it from the Microsoft Store or buy it from them directly. And it's free for personal use, but for professional use, you've got to pay them for a license. I would use this download installer, this MSI. Today, I'm using the portable version. And the beauty of a portable file is that you can install it on a thumb drive. You can put it on a system. and You don't actually have to have administrator rights to install it. So I'm going to go to my downloads directory where I've unzipped the file, and I'm going to run one commander. The first time it starts up, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. You can pick a theme. I'm going to leave it on the dark theme. I'm absolutely choosing the default layout being moving from the Mac Finder. I also like these little colorful icons to remind me I'm not using the Windows version of stuff. I definitely wanted to use show folder sizes. Note here, and it's the only pain point of Windows in general, I can't sort folders by size. So even though it's going to calculate it, it's not going to let me sort that. OK. So right away, I'd like you to see up top, I've got two panes. I've got the top pane on the C. I'm going to make the bottom one on the D drive. And you can see kind of this slide out difference. Notice all these folders just calculated themselves. It's telling you how much room is free on the drive. It's showing you the format of the drive. It's showing you where you are. I can use my arrow keys here. So I'm in my clean user at the top. I'm going to hit the right arrow. I've got some material, I think, in download. So I'll click. I'll hit the right arrow. And you can see I've got those items. And it's giving me just a quick preview here. On the left side, I just have this quick list view of shortcuts. So there's my D drive. There's my C drive. There's my documents. There's my desktop. You can add to this group. And instead of it being like favorites or the like, they're just groups. And you can make as many of the groups as you want. I have a group normally on one of my systems that's just all my network drives. And they have a network a group up here as well. Down here is a history of places I've been because, you know, oh, I was just there. Can I move back there quickly? And that's the beauty of this list on the left. Alt F. Switches focus. And I very much work as a top and bottom. I say I'm going to copy something from here and paste it up here, or vice versa. That keeps me a little bit more visually oriented, top and bottom, or over here in the bottom left, that little green dot, left and right. If you prefer left and right, I prefer top and bottom, at least on my wide screens. If I were to press the entry key, it would open up that PDF file. I'm going to mention a couple of those fixes I was talking about. Big one here for me, of course, 
is that I've got these listed by size. Sadly, I can't sort them by size, but here are the sorts. Sort by name, sort by type, sort by date. This is my magic switch. Keep folders above, on or off. I want this off. I now have every file the way my brain sees it listed alphabetically, not folders separated. And that, that for me is one of the biggest items that I came to this software and it's solved. There are about three preferences I want to show you, and I'm going to find that here underneath the gear program settings. First, depending on your eyes, you could adjust the font size. And I, when I look at boxes by like this, by the way, I always have a little bit of, oh my Lord, could the Windows users, could the Windows designers just get a little bit of the Mac simplicity? I'm not going to get that, but I certainly could have here something I do like, which is the file age has a visible color to it. Or down here, make sizes over one gigabyte with a more prominent color. I like that so I can see that a little bit easier. This is where you would change your theme. If you've got a particular way you'd like it to look, could tweak with the visibilities, including showing or hiding hidden items, including that Mac item. Treat files with starting with a dot as hidden, which is the way the Mac OS works especially for those .ds files that show up on Windows. It's really annoying. So I'm going to turn that on. It's worth taking a moment and looking through all the different settings. For example, here, it's got the ability to change the hotkey to bring this up from the Windows Alt O, which is how you bring up one commander. You can make it override and become Windows E, just like Windows Explorer was. But under preview here, if you've got Quick Look installed or Seer, you now have the ability to preview the files directly here in this tool. So with this on, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go to my D drive where I had those files. And now when I click here, they preview the way they would in the Mac. And the spacebar brings them up because I've got Quick Look installed. You should go see my other title on Quick Look, uh, my other tip on Quick Look. So that's one commander. It's probably my favorite tool along with Quick Look to get just better, more comfortable performance and interaction using Windows. As a Mac user coming to Windows, I find it some days a little frustrating, and this helps really just apply a Band-Aid to some of those pain points. <laughs>